Welcome back guys. Today we're going to do a quick video on this brand new Motop rooftop tent. So this is the 120 V4, which is the latest and smallest in their range. Retails for about $3,500 in Australia. We'll show you some of the features, we'll do a bit of a walk around and talk you through our reasoning as to why we purchased this particular tent. So the tent comes packaged in a big cardboard box and it's only about 10 or 15 centimetres longer and wider than the tent itself. So you can use that and the dimensions on the website to gauge whether you're going to need a ute or a trailer to pick it up. Um, within the tent, when you pop it open, you'll find the canvas tensioning rods that go on either side and keep the canvas taut so that if you get rain or weather, it stops it from coming inside. This little bag has these little clips on it and that basically allows you to clip it onto the side of the tent when you're up there and you can put your shoes in that so you don't have to leave them on your roof or anything like that. You get a little box as well. It has a few tools in there, some Allen keys and a little spanner and all the brackets that you're gonna need. And then you have your telescopic ladder. So that's the typical telescopic type that basically locks out and then you've got these little clips on the side. It's very common in rooftop tents. And then finally, within the tent, you have your 60 mil self-inflating mattress. I haven't tested this out myself yet, but from everything I've seen online, they are a little bit too thin. So you can replace this with say a 100 mil or a mattress of your type or choice. The monster mat from Zempire is meant to be a pretty good option and does fit in these. Just make sure you get the correct size for you. We'll just quickly show you the outside of the tent and how it mounts to your roof rack. So basically there's two longitudinal rails that run underneath the tent that are attached to the bottom and they have T-slot type adapters in them as well. And it allows you to put these little brackets in that then clamps to the roof rack. These brackets here are used to clamp the tent down and they seem to have upgraded them over the years and these actually work pretty well and they have a little hole here to allow you to put a lock through so you can lock your tent up, which is really cool. These little brackets hold the awning or the canvas rods that keep it taut and then you get a little handle as well that allows you to just sort of lift it up easier and then yeah, it's the same on the other side there. Moving to the side, you'll notice that all the way around you've got these T-slots and that allows you to grab any sort of little T-slot type accessory and run it in and tighten it up. So you can use it for little eyelets like that or little lights or anything that you want to put on the side of your tent. These are the brackets to hold the ladder. Again, they just use the T-slot type adapters. You can move them around anywhere you want, on the left or the right or at the back, depending on where you want to get into the tent. These um, struts that come with it are pretty good. You can get uprated ones if you want to put kayaks or heavier items on top of the tent. You can um, purchase them through Motop or through the suppliers. And then finally, we've got these um, simple brackets at the front. They actually come pre-installed and that's just the hinges to allow the tent to open up. So all the hardware appears to be stainless steel, so you shouldn't have any issues in terms of rust. And the seal that runs all the way around is like a heavy duty rubber, which seems to be really good and seems to keep the water out so far. It's super easy and quick to set this up. So all you need to do is unlatch at the back and grab the handle and apply a bit of force. And the gas struts will do the rest of the work for you. Then you can grab the bungee cord and put that down the bottom and grab your spring steel rods. So you want to put them in the little slots like that and then you can tension up this canvas on either side. And then you can grab your ladder and set it up wherever you normally have it. So for us, we've got it there. So we would just hook it on and we'd be able to get inside the tent. And there you go, you're pretty much set up and ready to go. Depending on your setup, you might have the ladder at the back, just because of my car, I can't, but it's just as easy to get into the side. So as you can see, you can just chuck your shoes in that little bag that's provided. Now when you get into the tent, you'll see that each window has its own mozzie netting, which is really handy. Then on the inside, it has a bit of canvas, and you can zip that up from the inside as well, so that you can use it as a bit of privacy sort of window netting, like that. You can put it up to whichever height while still getting a bit of airflow. On the roof here, you'll see there's a bunch of pockets. You can put an iPad or something, or socks, or whatever you need to do. A bit of clothing. At the front here, there is a little Velcro patch that actually goes and opens out to the outside. You can use that to run any sort of cables that you might want to put in for extra charging points or things like that. And then on the sides, there's these little pockets to put phone and keys. Towards the back here, you'll notice um, there's this nice bit of awning, so that'll protect from the weather. And then you can also roll these up or put them down with these little clips. So again, mozzie netting and the same for the front one as well, which comes down and blocks out the light 
Up the top, this model has a light and it basically just plugs in using a power bank in a USB port. And then you have this little toggle that lets you turn the light on and off. So really handy. You'll notice that the seams are all double stitched and they've also got the waterproof tape on it. So that's really good to see. One thing I did want to mention is they have improved in terms of condensation. Um, they've added a bit of extra material that's sort of meant to stop the um, dew from forming on the roof. And it's also underneath the mattress. No matter how much improvements they can do or, or make to the tents these days, you're still going to get a bit if you don't have enough airflow. So if you do have condensation problem, just crack one of the windows a bit and let it air out and that'll be your best chance of, of fighting that. If you do get a bit of moisture in your tent, try and keep it open for a bit, let it breathe a bit. Otherwise, if you do have to close it, open it up when you get home. So overall, the quality of the tent is really decent. We'll see in the coming months how it holds up to the weather, but it is meant to be pretty good against the wind and the rain. So packing it up is super easy. Just grab your ladder. And you can take it off and just push the little clips to the side and it'll drop down on itself like that. Unclip any of the stuff that you had on there. And take down your uh, canvas rods. Now grab that bungee cord that you put down earlier. And if you put it up like that, it just basically holds everything in. And then grab this piece and pull down. Now you want to just make sure you tuck everything in nicely when you put it away. And latch it up close with those two latches at the back. So you can see it's super simple and easy to pack up, similar to other pop top tents on the market. If there's any questions you've got about it or anything you want us to answer, let us know in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. My top, rooftop tent. Uh, it's the brand new Spanker. The 120 is the smallest, but it's definitely packing a punch. So we decided to do a bit of a different video this time. It's a first impressions and thoughts and feelings. Just, just loosey goosey, baby, loosey goosey. Loosey goosey, baby, loosey goosey. And it only weighs about 70 kilos. So as far as rooftop tents go, it's pretty good. Um, it's pretty good quality on first impressions, but yeah, on first impressions, it's pretty good. That was pretty good. Nailed it, except you said pretty good like five times. Did I? Right there. Uh, first impressions, it's pretty good. It's got reasonably pretty good values and stuff. <laughs> you want a bit? <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. Bees in the shed. Bees in the bush. They're pretty good. <laughs> and that 120 means that you have 1200 wide inside, which is actually not too bad. Um, I've managed to get myself, nah, I'm not going to say that. Myself, my dog, my cat, my fish. What is it? Old speckled hen. English. Speckled hen. Proper English ale. You'd be fine. Mm. It's alright. Cheers, boys. Beverages? Don't drink the don't, don't drink and review. How would you describe the beer, Luca? Pretty good. How yeah. old do you reckon they It's 5%, it's not too bad. <laughs> Welcome back guys. Today we decided to do a chill little video on this brand new roofie. It's like, all good, intros normally take 40 minutes. <laughs> I actually have an old speckled hen at home that lays GoPro back. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky I brought mine. And we'll show you some of the features, we'll do a bit of a walk around and talk you through our reasoning as to why we purchased this particular tent. You can have a beer now. Beverage. 